right, we got another one. This is a BMW X7 2020 edition. You get in the car, you have your uh, key fob or wireless key with you. So you, you go to press the start button here. So you go like this. Okay, what do you see? Vehicle battery empty. What does that mean? So this video, we'll figure this out. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel for fine, personal finance and cost saving, this is definitely a cost saver for sure. Uh, I'll flash across the screen how, would it, how much would it cost for a dealership to change out your key fob. So one of these bad boys. So let's go ahead and uh, change this out and uh, get this done. All right, so here's the key fob. We need to pick and I this from Amazon. I was able to find it anywhere. I was able to find Duracell, Energizer, and the other brands, but somehow Amazon has it on the other store, CVS, you know, Walgreens, and any other Walmart. I didn't see any of that. So this was available at Walmart. I'll leave the link in the description below for this, this. So if you use my codes for Amazon, help support the channel so I appreciate you guys doing that so to open this the key fob here there is a little uh, lock here you want to press the button here use a little pick it should release the key okay that's the key now if you look closely there is a line on here. So you can just use um, the pick to get that out. Right about here, you can go right in there with the pick. There it is, so it's cracked open, you can see. And it just slides right out. There's tabs at the end of this, I'll show you in a minute as soon as I take it out. Little tabs there, there, and there. It goes right here. So we'll take this out with the pick. It comes right out. And there's a, uh, looks like a CR 202032 is what we need. So we'll take that out. Let's get out of there. Comes out. That. And we just do the opposite how we took it up. Just seat right in here. You should hear a click. There it is. And it slides right in. You can hear that click too. And the key goes right back. There it is back together. So of note, like I said, I've been reading the forums on the BMW website. I highly recommend using Panasonic, not Duracell. That's the pro tip here. Not Energizer, not uh, off-brand. So make sure you use Panasonic. It does say three volt in the back. So does the Duracell. I don't know what the difference is, but it seems to work. So make sure you get this. All right. All right, new batteries in. So uh, click the on and off button on the key fob. So we're gonna lock, uh, unlock. So that works. All right. We're in the car. We gotta press start. All right, looks like it did its job. So I'm gonna say the computer had to reset itself. So I don't know, my wife drives the car, so she told me it just went away, the the, the message about low battery, uh, battery low fob. So it finally went away. So I guess the form is correct using only Panasonic battery compared to a Duracell battery or Energizer battery or off uh, brand batteries. So don't use those, use, make sure you use the Panasonic ones and that has gone away. So 
So that's it. I mean, if you like this kind of content, we're going to talk about personal finance, cost saving. This was a cost saver for sure. This would have cost you $100 at the dealer tab, then change the battery on the key fob, let alone time that you have to spend at the dealership. So 100 bucks right there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cost savings, personal finance, and building a business online. I'll see you in the next video.